order this meeting. This meeting will be held in a hybrid fashion with the opportunity for both in-person attendance and remote participation. Please note that while an option for remote attendance and or participation is being provided as a courtesy to the public, the meeting and hearing will not be suspended or terminated if technological problems interrupt the virtual broadcast unless otherwise required by law. Members of the public with particular interest in any specific item on this agenda should make plans for in-person versus virtual attendance accordingly. The meeting will be held in person in the main meeting room of the Deerfield Municipal Offices here at 8 Conway Street in a, and in accordance to Mass General Laws 30A, Chapter 30A, anyone intending to record this meeting must identify themselves to our clerk, Trevor McDaniel, and provide their name and address for the record. Thank you. All right, calling to order. We'll move right down to decision items. The Franklin Regional Council of Governments 2024 District Local Technical Assistance Request Form. And we have with us Chris, Christopher Dunn, who has filled it out for us. Yes, and uh, if you'd like, I can speak to the the application, such as it is. Um, so just real quick, uh, this is assistance that FERCOG provides annually, um, just test technical assistance. Um, and in this case, uh, you know, both Denise and I actually took a look at what Casey had forwarded and said, wow, this would be a great fit for the town campus um, because there's some uh, technical assistance there for looking at um, you know, a series of parcels that are, you know, together in one consolidated area and figuring out what are the resources out there um, to fund improvements to those parcels. Um, so it's under the community economic development um, section of the application. Um, and part of the process here is just making sure that the select board is good with that being sort of our top priority for technical assistance to apply for from FERCOG. Um, I'll just note there's a couple other things that app the application uh, having to do with the comprehensive plan process. Um, we can, you know, strike those or we can include them, doesn't matter. But um, the other the other piece of it is there is later on uh, a list of wider municipal priorities. Um, and that basically FERCOG includes that so that if you would like assistance with grant funding for those types of projects, they know that they're out there um, and they can reach out and provide uh, you know, grant writing, prep research uh, type assistance for those projects. Well, I just want to say thank you for filling this out. Um, I agree a hundred percent though. And also that the other backup number two and number three priority is our renewal of the 20 year old master plan that right. I was involved in. Um, and I have to say uh, it's required so much more um, technical assistance and surveys and stuff like that, that it's hard to do on your own anymore. So I can only, because I was involved in the other one, I can only say it's really important to have technical assistance for that plan too. And it's really out of date. So I would make a motion to support Christopher's. Um... Trevor's got his hand. Trevor's oh, Trevor, his hand I'm up. sorry. Go ahead. Yep. No, I just wanted to talk a little bit. Um, just reading the application, things look like they're changing this year and not everybody is going to, you know, they tried to spread it really, you know, wide over the last several years. And, and I think they're going to just pick several communities and do more in-depth stuff, I think. So if, if that's what I understood the, the letter to say that, so we may not get anything or it may be a couple of years until we get something. Because um, you were saying some of the things were lasting a lot longer. I, I'm not really sure, but I know the methodology changed a bit. My only concern was that I didn't want to, I wanted to have something on there that was like low hanging fruit so we could at least get something this year. Um, and I was thinking a bit about the AI stuff, which I thought would be a really good help for staff, but I'm a hundred percent support of what you guys have picked. And I just wanted to make sure somewhere on there, we said, well, if we're not going to get anything, I would love at least some help from, you know, I mean, the, the small stuff that they can do like, yeah, Trevor, yeah, right. um, like Trevor, we're relying on you as chair of the FERCOG Council to make sure that <laughs> um, our request is honored. And, uh -huh. um, I cannot know. play favorites. You know that. I know. <laughs> no, I, know. I, I obviously voice for our concern for, you know, for, for our for advocate for, you know, for our request. But I know, I but if we lean this. into them, they can at least start with us, I think, Trevor. Mm -hmm. that, well, uh, I, it's not acceptable to us to have no assistance. 
You know what I mean? I didn't, I didn't say there will be no, but I mean, there will be some community. I mean, uh, did you read the letter? Yes. And, yes. And, yeah. um, I, I picked up on that too, so I'm glad you brought it up. But also, um, it's possible. If, I thought I read that if, if there was a, if they picked an area that many communities are concerned about, that you know you might be able to get the spillover from that benefit of that. Yes. So. Gotcha. Um, <clears throat> yep. That's always been my hesitation to offer them any kind of low hanging fruit because then what happens is they just they're okay with that. Yeah. So yep. that's I all the fruit we, you get. Yeah, I think we need to stick with our thing. I mean, I think we can advocate and we can advocate for it, Trevor. And you know, if if they pick AI, if there's any interest, then of course we can participate. Yeah. Yep. And also, I think that's also, a super would, important thing for us. I would think too that because we're perhaps a little further along in the envisioning of a campus, that maybe there would be a good and solid reason to put ourselves forward forcibly yeah. say hey you know we're we're like pre-development here and we really could use you know this now rather than three years from now when our turn comes around yeah uh, all right that's fine i think we can we can send this away trevor with a little cover letter saying uh, just saying what tim just said about us um putting so much effort into what we're our process already and I, I think the fact that yeah. our master plan is over 20 years old and we're looking for assistance is also huge. So I know they're understaffed. Yeah. I know that right. they have issues, but if you're not if you're not in their face, then that's not, I mean, that's just the way it is, you know. Well, all right. all right. So I make the motion to support this and have maybe have Chris, um, Christopher Dunn write a little cover letter saying how sure. much we've already put work into it. It's ready to go. Mm -hmm. um, and I'll second the motion. All right. All those in favor? Any further discussion? From Chris Nolan, Christopher Dunn, Denise? None at this time. No, I... Oh, Denise, do you want to, do you want to add anything? No, 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 I was just saying, you know, when I met with, um, Christopher, at some point, I mean, we're already far along, as you said, Tim, and I like the way Christopher did it, you sort of the three different phases. And I think, you know, first and foremost, if we can get the master plan just for the campus, I mean, I'd like the whole, the whole master plan, but this is an integral part of the larger master plan. So even if they're going to, you know, throw us a few crumbs, I'll take that. And, you know, I think Christopher, when we were talking, he said it probably shouldn't cost that much to do this first phase. So I wouldn't anyway, so. yeah, I'm no, I, I think it's great. I'm excited. So I'm hoping, so if you're gonna, then Christopher would just send that in ASAP because the yes. deadline's Wednesday. Perfect. I would agree. Um, would you agree that the planning board is well aware of the out of date master plan would so oh yeah yeah we we've talked about it you know first we wanted to excuse me we wanted to update our zoning bylaws which we did and then master plan was on you know for the second thing to do but you know that's i mean i've no idea how much money that would take but certainly a lot more than doing the campus master yeah. plan probably so. twenty thousand dollars yeah something. oh probably so oh. no i think it's great and i really appreciate um Christopher doing this. All right. All those in favor? Tim Hilchey, aye. I, I see Trevor. Yes. Okay. And Carolyn Nessai. It's unanimous. All right. Um, was there anything else anyone wanted to talk about? Trevor, uh, can we un unmute? You're Trevor. muted, Trevor. It's due today, correct? I no, think Casey, Casey got a Casey got um I think until next Wednesday, but oh, it would, okay. it, sooner the sooner the better. I would yes. send it to pay defensively, and then if you need to update, and yep. they haven't and they haven't changed the deadline, you've met the deadline, and you know, yes. you could send a letter tomorrow, and if it's not written today, yeah, yeah, that's great. Yeah, I I think Chris could rip something off that Christopher could lift something off that wouldn't be too heavy, right? when you send this on. So yes, it's gonna go out today. Is there anything else that anybody wants to talk about? 
The only thing I was going to say is, and I think everybody's aware that we've been selected for this heat deep well test pit uh, study, right? So we, just, we don't know how much money we're going to get, but Christopher, Denise, myself, and are you in on it too, Chris? Mm -hmm. uh, are going to talk tomorrow morning at nine to the heat um, granting authority. Hopefully we'll get answers to how much money they're going to give us. I've already contacted the uh, engineering firm that we used to help prepare this application. And I also determined that um, even if we only dig one 500 foot pit, it can be used, you know, to do some sort of HVAC system for at least one building. So I'm I'm so excited. I can't believe it. Yeah. We're finally moving on this. Yeah. So I know it's great. Exciting. Um, That's it. And I also just want to say um, we had a very successful Narcan training last night and how to use Narcan. And um, it was so successful and so excellent that we're going to do this again at the end of March sometime. And I'm just really pleased that, um, you know, it's available for the community. So hopefully we'll get a uh, turnout again and we can get free Narcan and how to use it to protect people. Um, in case of who, who did that? What what was what was the training? I didn't I missed it for some reason. Um, it was our public health board of health oh. um, training. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Great. Yeah. yeah, I'd love to go to the March one. Yeah, Mary sense. Ellen Sloan um, presented. Meg Tudor was there, and myself. And great. Um, it's excellent. It just shows you how to use Narcan, not to worry about a lot of worries you don't have to worry about. Also, yep. the Narcan is available with our all our first responders, police, fire, ambulance. Yep. And if you call 911, no matter what, you're not going to get in trouble. It's right. you, know, you need to save someone. But there's also no reason to not to come and get your free Narcan so you can have it. That's okay. great. Is it, in, is it an inhaler or? Yeah, it's just a. In the I have, I have, I, I saved a couple out um, for one in Pat's office and one in Chris's office so that it's available here at the town hall. And it, Good. And, and each package, there's two of them and you just put it in and you literally just squeeze, squeeze it. it. And yeah. you, can't, you can't really screw up. It's very harmless. Um, if, if, if the person is not conscious because of a stroke or, I mean, they do right. it for everybody for no matter what. Um, yeah. So uh, it's wonderful. So anyway, so, our... well, I, had, I had one other thing uh, before we go. I just wanted to uh, talk with, um, see what your guys' thoughts are. We still have that seventy-five thousand for the um, feasibility study for the seniors. Uh, would love to get um, Casey or Chris or somebody to get that going to. I don't know if it was Furcon who does them. I'm not sure who does them, but I think we're going to lose that money if we don't do it. And I'd love to get that going if we can. Okay. It doesn't appear that Sunderland is moving forward uh, to purchase that building on this annual town meeting. So I think we just got to do, we got to look at the church or an addition off to the 1888 building. Some, we just need to kind of know what the seniors need, what's the feasibility of that space. Um, so that'd be great to get that rolling somehow. I don't know what the time frame is or all that, but. Um, I agree with you because, um, uh, no matter what, we're going to have the 1821 building be a satellite or a main senior center, whatever. It doesn't matter. It yes. will be for community senior center use. Yep. So, um, let's do that. Also the hundred thousand for the church. If you look right. at the way it's written, it's written for Deerfield. And if we're doing this as a satellite senior center, I, I have no issues yeah. saying move ahead with that as well. Do you all I agree? Do you, do you agree? Right. And, yeah, and you know, I, 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 I think that the way it's written, it's clear that it's basically the Deerfield select board has control of this money. So yes. you know, we just need to spend it before it expires because it'd be right. a, way, a true waste to not do that. Right, we have to yeah. spend it before uh, June thirtieth. So, um, I actually then I will make a formal motion that um, that Chris and Christopher move forward with the feasibility study and the um, hundred thousand towards the church renovation. 
for a Second. Senior. All those in favor? Tim Hilchey, aye. 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 And Trevor, yes, thank you. Okay. Um, all right, thank you all. All right, I'll take a motion to adjourn. Make that motion. Second. All those in favor? Tim Hilchey, aye. Trevor McDaniel, aye. Thank you all very much. Sorry See for the you, you. Be safe, Trevor. At noon Thank on you. Friday. Thanks noon so much. Friday. Noon on Friday is your next meeting. Talk to you soon. Good you think you said that. Thanks, everyone. <laughs>